Welcome to the What's New in ITOM 23.1 session. I'm going to be taking you through some of the most exciting features in this latest January release. This release has four key features to help you to address some of the challenges that you have managing a complex hybrid environment, managing lots and lots of technologies that are out there, and lots of data silos, third-party tools that have little bits of data. Additionally, it does things that weren't even possible before, leveraging analytics and AI-driven insights to provide valuable recommendations. Next, I'm gonna take you through each of these and drill into them with a bit more detail. Security has been a big focus in IT over the past few years. And whether your organization is adopting micro-segmentation or the principle of least privilege, you may find that you have challenges doing the things that you were previously doing in IT operations. One of the areas that we've seen is challenges to just do discovery of virtual machines because they might be on segmented networks or they might have firewalls in between each virtual machine. So instead of needing to open up tickets to create additional routing rules or firewall policies, we've introduced a really great capability to help you to do your job much easier. So now instead of needing direct access via SSH or a PowerShell scan to the IP of each of the guest virtual machines, today you can configure to integrate to those guest virtual machines directly through the vCenter API. This would be a big time savings and especially easier when you have one of those extra secure environments. If you're like most IT operations teams, then we know that you have to continue to monitor your existing technology while also learning how to monitor new technologies. So in this release, we've tried to help you out. We've enhanced the SAP monitor knowledge module for BMC Helix operations management and also introduced Elasticsearch uh, KM to help you to monitor that technology as well. Because we know the last thing that you need is yet another monitoring tool to help to get the full coverage of the resources that you have. Did you know that on average organizations have between 10 and 30 different monitoring tools? I can't even imagine what that's like when there's an outage. You got 30 different screens to go look at to figure out what's going wrong. And think about all of the duplicate or redundant incidents that are being created because you got different tools monitoring the same services and flooding your service desk with incidents. That's why we continue to enhance our intelligent integrations. And in this release, we've expanded to support Catchpoint for digital experience monitoring and synthetic transactions, as well as CA APM to also bring your APM data into a consolidated location where you can see one place what's going on in your environment and one place to set your rules for creating incidents. Did you know in the latest State of the Java Ecosystem Report, the survey found over 70% of production Java applications are running in containers. That's a lot of Java apps in containers. Now, whether you're responsible for the health of the Kubernetes infrastructure or the applications themselves. If you're looking at the pods memory usage for your Java applications, you really aren't getting the full picture. Since JVM set settings limit the memory usage, your pods may actually be close to running out, or I'm not gonna say it, but I have heard that some developers tend to ask for more resources than they need. Well. Let's just say there might be a lot of room for memory optimization. That's why in this release of BMC Helix Continuous Optimization, we added an additional layer of JMX analysis to our optimization recommendations that we already have for Kubernetes. Now this is gonna help you to identify and proactively resize to avoid out of memory errors inside of those pods. Additionally, if you happen to have one of those situations where you've got a lot of over allocated uh, pod resources out there, well, we can also help you to identify and recommend the proper resizing for those resources as well. It'll get you some better utilization in your Kubernetes infrastructure. Well, thank you for joining today's session. 
Hopefully you've seen some capabilities that got you excited and that you'll start using right away. If you'd like to learn more about these features or the other features in the ITOM 23.1 release, please go to docs.bmc.com and take a look at those 23.1 release notes.